long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion. John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here today. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon, looking to build on his legs. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones steps inside the octagon. He looks ready to go. get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Tom Espinall! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bowles! Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. Uh, what a splash the UFC makes every time we come to the United Kingdom. If you want to see the UFC live in London, you better buy tickets. Within five minutes of them going on sale, you're going to be inside. You're going to be standing outside hoping to be inside the arena all the way back to UFC 75 champion versus champion. Rampage versus Dan Henderson. The UFC has brought fights that have blown the roof off the O2 arena. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight. Guillotine jump! That guillotine is tall! This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Aspen. Making all these shots count. Beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. They are going at it with each other. These two guys want to end the fight very fast. Big shot to the head. Aspen up. Gets caught with that punch. Well, 
Well, John Jones showing you some of those new weapons here tonight. Mike Winklejohn is always fond of saying you don't see 30% of what John Jones is able to do in the gym. And with every passing fight, starting to show you new wrinkles, new weapons in that arsenal. Just over the oh, what a shot to the body. His opponent crippled, but not out yet. He's trying to keep the poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. There by Johnny Bone. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Jones. Missed with that attempt. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is tight. Oh, great submission defense. Is in half guard now. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Arm bar set up here. Nice setup on that arm bar. That is tight. Just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Aspinall's in half guard. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. Aspinall's right back to the full mount here. One minute now to go in round one. Great ground and pound by this man. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Ooh, that Kamora looks tight. Seconds. Jones's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape. Oh, Maybe man. look for Kimura here. Oh, round two is next. Stop. Stop. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Chin's low. Protect yourself. Nope. All right, so somehow, some way, we will fight onward. There was a big liver shot there that buckled his opponent. DC, here's your replay. Nothing is worse. Nothing is worse than taking one of those shots right to the liver. It shuts everything down. You got to be so tough to stay standing after you take a strike like that. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round here. Man, his side kick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good side kick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Outstanding kick there by Aspinall. Straight counter. Jones gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer 
extra two times. And you have to have a couple of targets always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped around the place. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Hands going from the clinch. He lands a nasty shot from there. He's going guillotine. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Espinosa's got the full mount. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Send up another submission. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, look pretty tight, but he gives up on the submission. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now he's going full mount. Nice shot there by the champ. Aspinall's right back to the full mount. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Great defense by this fighter. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Spinning breakfast. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick a fruit. <laughs> he gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Well, just as he did in the previous round, 
continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Stay on that cut for me. That left hook was crazy. Takedown defense holds up. Well timed with the short uppercut and the clinch by Jones. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Die really starting to show serious signs of bruising here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Nice leg kick. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any Aspinall's trying for a submission here. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, that's gotta be it. I don't know. That's in so deep. Oh my goodness. Submission defense, he gets out! Calmness in that moment. It looked like the fight was over. He was able to clear his head, put the guy into the mouth. Not a great position, but much better than getting his arm snapped in half from an arm box. He's gotta be careful here. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Nice transition. Right, get up, get up, get up, get up. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Side control now. Oh, looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. He's attacking the Kimura. Watch him. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Hit his arm. He's got him in a crucifix. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All these actions, though, these big actions, got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. In the half guard. Oh, great ground shot there, and that one opened him up. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Aspen. Gotta be careful here. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Aspinall's pass attempt denied. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground with these guys. Oh, Mitchell, perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, nice kick. Oh, my goodness. All right, big storyline starting. Oh, we're getting to finish here. Oh, beautiful. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds.
All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That cash is getting serious. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really open up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready? You ready? Fourth yeah. round now, fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Can't take many of those, you better check. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Aspinall's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Jones's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Watch the arm bar, but watch the arm bar here. Oh, that's tight. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Jones. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. He's getting he's setting up a sub attempt. Now he's in trouble. How in the world did he escape that submission? Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Aspinall. A couple hammer fists there for good measure. Oh, setting up another submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. working on that submission. He will not quit on trying to get the submission. Oh, you better tap or that thing's gonna snap. He's got it isolated. Can 
continuing to work for a submission here. He's going to have to fight to get this in. Wow, somehow, someway, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. He's having his way with him here. Final seconds here. Top pressure being applied here. Aspinall's back in full mount. Oh. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. Show something. You have to protect yourself. Let's get this fight to the all right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue on the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Jones gets caught with that punch. Come on, man, let's finish strong. Ooh, head kick lands. Oh, hurt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. A full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this side kicking you with his shit in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Big, straight left. He's got some hands, man. All right, now you see some visible damage on that calf. We'll keep an eye on that. You got to watch it. I mean, this kick is so damaging. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Now some separation from this first position. He's able to land, but barely with that front kick. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Jones. Oh. We might get a stoppage here soon. the bad man stop a nice stoppage win for him here tonight and the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault a flurry of punches most of them upstairs and when those big shots land repeatedly the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight We go right inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 28 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by TKO.